Hey, hey, people, people. Wednesday afternoon, mid uh, week, hump day, hump day. What's going on? We are in the last week of July. Summer is flying by like wildfire, folks. What I'm here to talk about today is this this notion of that keeps coming around every time I see online about the 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 thing about duplication. Okay. One of the things I think people got to realize, okay, the true essence of duplication is not developing like a robot, a cooperative person okay this this is the biggest thing drawback i find in network marketing that i see okay and they used way back ago they used the model of, of the mcdonald's model and when i think back on that i think that was a wrong business model to use okay See, network marketing doesn't, the problem with what they teach in network marketing, and one of the things I have to admire from um, the people that I was working with, um, more things were stressed on personal development. Now, don't get me wrong. You got to have some business sense also to understand what a business, what it takes to build a business too. Okay, but most people come into network marketing up here, they messed up. They're messed up because they got they they're, they're, they come in with the notion of um, working hour, pay an hour. Okay. That's not what network marketing is set up for. Okay. No business is set up that way. Now, when you use a model like McDonald's as an example of how a business should be done. Well, we got to understand something with McDonald's. If you pay a hundred thousand dollars to a million dollars for the, a business, yeah, you're going to work your ass off to make that business work, or you're going to lose that money, that investment. But one of the things you got to understand <clears throat> is that the average person, the nine to five, the Joe bag of donuts guy, that's a Jersey term, ain't got $100,000 to, to invest like that. This is why network marketing has been, there. I guess there's two pros and cons about network marketing. The low startup costs, which people think that is um, one of the reasons why some people fail because they don't have a lot invested. They don't have a lot skin in the game vested in that business model. And, and it may be true. Okay, there's pros and cons to any business. Hey, Greg, what's going on, man? Um, duplication should not be based off of that. Okay, duplication should be based off of giving somebody a foundational thing of success. Okay, it should not be based off of how much money you spend in it. Okay, you can if you don't have a foundational aspect of success, don't matter how much money you spend. You got even if you even if you invested a million dollars into a McDonald's, if you don't have that success mode, you will fail. Okay, one of the things that the people that I started out in these businesses worth was to give a foundation. See, foundations in in any business, your teacher, uh, martial arts, which gave me that, is about to grow. Okay, personal development is about getting this together. Okay. Even in, even this is what I was taught in, in martial arts. So you can take all that foundational structure to anything that you try to succeed in. Okay. Most people don't have this together. Even if they make a lot of money, they don't have this together. That's why they lose. Okay. Because they're always trying to uh, do things without, uh, without some kind of foundational success principles. See, there's success principles. You know, we talk about, I hear a lot of people talking about the word, you know, from the Bible. Proverbs has a lot of success principles. Let me look at something here. Hold on. Let me look at something. Okay. Um, we always talk about 
a lot of everybody always talked about um, wanting to get the, you know, especially, I'm, I'm going to be real about it. black folks, especially. Do you realize that you are down, you are on earth for a reason? You're not here. This is, this is, this is the backward ass shit that <clears throat> the Christian, everybody talks about how much they are Christian, but what they don't talk about is that most of this Christian indoctrination was really, especially for black folks, was not any concern for your salvation or yourself. It was to control you, okay? Look it up, okay? It was never there. They never cared about your soul. They never cared nothing about your soul. It was to control you. It was to control you spiritually, physically, and economically. If you look at what <clears throat> these people who spout off these, uh, what is the, the Christian right, they don't follow those rules. They do every damn thing against it, but they expect you to do that. But it was to keep you compliant and obedient and in your place. While the ones who were telling you this stuff was prospering. We got to get re-educated in our mindset about who we are. One of the biggest problems in the black community is that we don't know who we are. We are so much into trying to get to heaven but nobody want to die. You got to die to get to heaven, folks, black folks. You got to die to get to heaven. I don't know nobody. They got to heaven without leaving this earthly ship. So are you ready to die? Because you know what? <laughs> Maybe if you ain't done what you were supposed to be down here to do, you may have to you ever repeat. You know, if people repeat fourth grade, <laughs> Okay, you may have to repeat all this again. You know, a lot of people say, well, I don't believe in reincarnation. Okay. But do you believe that you are, you you have a purpose here on earth? Okay, and if you don't fulfill that purpose, maybe it's a, 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 an earthly contract, you may have to repeat it because you never learned to do what you were down here to do. We all are talking about, you know, that got black folks talking about all these hymns about getting to heaven and all that. How come we don't talk about being successful and doing something for our own selves or people? Why are we always talking about leaving? See, this is where, you know, I hear another thing about black people in this reparation shit. Folks, it's like the bankers. You can never get a loan from a bank when you need the loan. Seem like they only loan people money when they didn't really, really, you know why that is? Because you don't have any collateral and you, we have not learned. Okay. Understand this old Italian guy told me this. He said, no, no ethnic groups, no other ethnic groups will work with other ethnic groups that don't learn to work with themselves. If you can't not learn to work within, within your own communities, why should they trust to work with you? That's including loaning you money and banking. Okay. So before you expect any reparations from this country, but you can't sit up here and talk shit about white folks and then turn around and say you want reparations. It's the same shit we sit around here at Christmas, Thanksgiving. When it is to their plantation, that's insane. They're not gonna. They're not gonna hire you in the duplication aspect. Duplication isn't the key to being successful in that one market. Okay, not the success part. Okay, the success part is getting this together. Okay, getting this success principles. Okay, there's success. There are success principles that we should understand. See, poverty, it says right here, poverty is a thief. It steals much more than your finances. It steals your dreams. It steals your sense of worth. It steals your significance. That means you, you woman. It steals your ability to bless those around you, okay? 
It said, God wants to bless you financially. He's a giver. Let the Lord be magnified with hate, pleasure, and prosperity for his servant. And that's Psalm 3527. If we're going to talk about the word, let's talk about things like this in this book. This is a book I've had for a while. It's called The Laws. This book is called The Laws of Recognition, people. The Laws of Recognition. Okay? These are success principles. This is part of that success principles. If you want to learn success, you want to be successful in the world, you've got to learn what they are. Okay? We cannot be talking about um, duplication as if you want somebody to be just like you. Don't know. That's never part of duplication. Duplication in true essence means to give your downline, your your uh, uh, student, whatever you want to call them, a foundation to build from. This is the whole problem with, with traditional martial arts and what I learned from uh, Bruce Lee. Now, I never met Bruce Lee, but I've been influenced by a lot of the philosophy that he has said. Um, and he's, he always gives his students a foundation to build from. It's, it's finding the truth for you. Everybody's truth is different, okay? The true essence of duplication is helping each individual find who they are. Ain't no different from in business. You have to find who you are and what works for you, okay? You can't put everybody in a box and saying, this is the only way it works and this is the way you have to follow. That's an employee um, employer relationship. And that's the problem that's happening. I feel in network marketing, you know, we say one thing that this is your business, but yet you treat those people as if they're your employees. That's not building leadership. That's just building another structure of employee employer relationship. When that's not what we got in this business for, at least that's not what I got in it for is to, um, build a business. Part of building a business is understanding who you are and helping others to understand who they are. You give them certain foundational aspects to grow from. That's helping people. That's what our community needs. We need to be re-educated, re-engineered to the thought process of who we are, okay? We, we are so indoctrinated in being so-called Christian, that quote, Christian, we don't understand what that really means, okay? Jesus didn't come out, didn't die on the cross because you were just a Christian. He wanted you to understand who you are. That's just my belief. A lot of y'all might not believe in that. You think it's this all about believing he existed or loving him and that's how you're going to get to heaven. I don't believe that's all that's going to get you to heaven. We have not learned to work with each other. <coughs> Help each other. How? Why would? Why would you? Why would you be to thinking you're going to get your reward unless you help your fellow man? Or they say, being your brother's keeper. Okay. My belief is that maybe you may get sent hell back like they do some people in high school and grade school because you didn't complete the task and learn the task to move forward. Okay. Heaven is like moving forward. And if you can't complete the task, what makes you think you deserve moving forward just because you believe? Everybody can say, I believe. But what have you done down here to make a difference? Okay? What, what, what as an individual or a group or whatever, you've got to make a difference. Okay? It's not about just you believing. Let, let's get that shit. That's another way of controlling you and not seeing you prosper economically spiritually or whatever okay that's what they do that's what a lot of uh the um what's the word i want to use the suppressors once you believe and they don't even follow their rules okay even like i said in business <clears throat> duplication is only a foundation. It's not to, I don't, you cannot be me. Just like the big mistake now, <clears throat> they're out here. I read an article, they were talking, talking about redoing Enter the Dragon. Okay, Enter the Dragon was an iconic cultural-based movie that 
put Bruce Lee on the top that made him a legend. Now they're trying to talk about redoing it. Are you kidding me? You cannot redo that movie. Lightning don't strike twice with that. That's a cultural classic, iconic classic. You cannot make remake it. I don't care who they try to get in there. It will fail, okay? That movie will fail. That That's a one-shot, one-deal type of movie. I've heard this 10 years ago they were talking about remaking this movie. See, <clears throat> what you should do is take his philosophies as a foundation to build from. But no, people are lazy. They want the, the instant money, the instant gratification, the instant success. That movie's already had a success. You cannot think that you're going to take that same movie and strike gold twice with it. That movie's 40-something years old, 45 years old. And the man who made that movie successful was deceased. With him being deceased, it still plays everywhere, even on DVD, whatever, on cable, whatever. You cannot remake that movie. They tried to do that movie again. Me and a friend, Nelson, were talking about that. There was a movie right after he died called Men of the Dragon. It was a TV version of really End of the Dragon. But there's no way you're going to be able to have a, a successful release of that. And that's the problem with people. We we want, we don't, we, we fear of being creative of stepping out. And we, 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 we stay in this box and we want to keep everybody else in the box. But that's not true duplication. That's not true helping people being successful. That's just keeping somebody confined, shackled mentally, physically, and spiritually. And that's not what this business is about. That's not, that's not what none of this is about. Until we start understanding that <clears throat> that we're marketing, or any of these type of um, business ventures are going to struggle because we've gotten away from what really the essence of this is all about. Okay, we got to understand that it's not about all that other mess. Okay. Now I hope you got value from that because we, if you want to learn more things about marketing and business, I want I want to advise you to join um, me and some men, and some um, successful people tonight. Um, lady named Diane Hawkman is going to explain three methods, three things that she does every day for the success that she had, has had in online business, online and offline. Okay. This is a free training seminar tonight, 9 PM. I'll leave a link after this video. Let me see. Maybe I can even leave a link on here, right here. Now I'm going to leave a link here. Leave a link. Okay. You can go to right here, this link that I'm putting up. Uh, Rex Smith Solutions Online and register. It's a it's a free training. If you want to, if you want to be or understand people who have they're being successful online come join us tonight 9 p.m okay 9 p.m eastern standard time this link i just left in the in the chat or in the comments uh <clears throat> you can um join free get a notepad take some notes okay you gotta write stuff down take some notes okay with that being said i'm gonna get off of here hope you got value Hope to see you tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is what we call our Top Earners Webinar Weekly. It's been, it's been, doing, been doing this for 10 years, okay? All right, people, take care. Happy Hump Day. Have a great rest of your week, and we'll see you tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Take it easy. Peace out.